Hi, I'm Steve Kirsch, the CEO of Token. I'm delighted to share our story with you today. First, a little bit of background. I'm a high-tech serial entrepreneur who has pioneered many key computer technologies, including the optical mouse, desktop publishing, and internet search. My co-founder, Yobi Benjamin, was the global CTO for Citigroup. Our company is funded by former and current executives at Google, Facebook, and Xiaomi. Just over a year ago, we assembled a small army of very talented engineers from banks and places like Google, Amazon, Facebook, Stanford, and MIT, and gave them a very ambitious assignment. Redesign the payment infrastructure for the world. Did you know that all of our primary payment systems in the U.S. were all conceived over 50 years ago, before the invention of the Internet? Our goal was to incorporate all the great ideas from the last 50 years into our design. Our design approach was to start with a clean sheet of paper and design an elegant payment system that could last the next 100 years. It would be a system that would meet the needs of regulators, banks, businesses, developers, and consumers. Now we started by making a short checklist of things we needed to update. Now let's take a closer look at each one of these. Now today we have lots of different ways that we can encapsulate monetary value. We wanted a paradigm for representing value in a generic way. Our chosen paradigm is what we call a smart token, which consists of three parts, an underlying asset, the rules regarding access to that asset, and the current state of the token. This allows us to exactly emulate the behavior of any type of payment ever created. And the cool thing is that it is the banks who issue and redeem these tokens. So banks can now issue digital checks, cash, payment cards, and so forth, all electronically and all with unprecedented security. So token keeps banks in the middle of all transaction flows. Traditional payment architectures are centralized. Now this is problematic for many reasons. For example, the server can fail or be compromised. Token, on the other hand, is a modern client-server architecture with open APIs so that now people can choose best-of-breed components, which maximizes innovation. Now, traditional payment protocols share secrets among many entities and are not end-to-end -end secure. In fact, they're just the opposite. Anyone along the way can change the transaction or steal the secrets. Now, Token eliminates this problem. Our new payment flow is end-to-end -end secure, so security problems are eliminated. And the transport chosen is something that both parties agree on. It could be a legacy transport like ACH or Token's real-time transport. Our real-time transport allows money to be moved instantly worldwide. All transactions are recorded in a distributed ledger maintained by the world's largest banks and then periodically sent to the central banks. The distributed ledger could also be run by the central bank. Secure authentication and authorization was not an afterthought. It was designed into the system from day one, and more than half the design time involved security issues. Traditional systems are full of shared secrets, such as username, passwords, one-time passwords, and so on. Now, these secrets invariably are exposed, causing people to have to do unnatural acts, such as changing their password or their pet's name. Token, on the other hand, was designed to completely eliminate all shared secrets and relies exclusively on ultra-modern digital signatures based on the twisted Edwards curve for authentication and authorization. This means that mass breaches are eliminated and that our friend Sean, used in this example, will no longer have to keep changing his dog's name. It also means that all transactions are end-to-end -end secure. Transaction tampering is now impossible. We all hated filling out forms to make purchases. So we designed token in such a way that the merchants can simply bring up a form with all your payment sources, and all you have to do is select one. No more typing, no more usernames and passwords. It's faster and easier than Amazon, one-click checkout, and a lot more secure. And we pitched merchants on this approach, and the merchant interest we've received so far is well over $100 billion. We made the developer experience easy and secure as well. No more shared secrets like card numbers and API keys. All API requests are digitally signed, so there is non-repudiation of all transactions. So no more finger pointing and no more PCI compliance issues or liability. With token, banks can now issue digital money. And that money is one heck of a lot better than Bitcoin. First of all, it's real US dollars, not virtual currency. And it can be sent in a few milliseconds, whereas Bitcoin takes six confirmations, which averages about an hour, and before you know for sure that the money was sent. 
And you can attach terms to that digital money, so you can do things like smart contracts that can be written in any computer language. So when token is fully deployed at banks, there's no longer a need for Bitcoin to exist. Now that's bad news for Bitcoin investors and great news for banks. Token was designed to accommodate any payment type. Each payment scheme looks to our system just like another bank, so it's easy to move money between systems. This has a huge impact because it means that merchants now only have to implement a single API to accept money from any payment system that is token enabled. There are dozens of advantages our system has over other systems for faster payments. In the interest of time, I won't go over each one of them, but feel free to stop the video and explore. Here are some more reasons. Token was designed to meet regulatory requirements worldwide. To make sure we were on the right track, we briefed the European Central Bank, and they said that there was nothing they didn't like. Now, that's what regulators say when they really like your stuff. Paul Horlock, who ran Global Payments for Barclays, took a detailed look at Token and called it a brilliant new approach to payments. We pitched Token to 25 banks in 15 countries over five continents. They all loved it. We also pitched it in less detail to the transaction bankers at the most recent Cybos conference, and we tied for first place out of 370 fintech companies from all over the world. So it's good feedback that our approach is something that will work worldwide, not just in the U.S. You know, payments is a very large and complex undertaking. We need to partner with many companies to make this happen. The companies listed here are representative of the type of companies that we would love to partner with. Thank you so much for listening to our story, and we look forward to working with you.